Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Alice Mills Publishing came out with three newish <laughs> coloring books. These are the mosaic version of three cross stitch coloring books that she has had out for quite a while. However, she has been getting comments that people are really enjoying the mosaic version of these cross stitch coloring books because they're a lot easier to do. Um, so I went and grabbed um, the three cross stitch versions. Couldn't find the Christmas one for the life of me and here it is because it is one of the books I finished. <laughs> so it's in a different place. So let's go ahead and we'll look at these. I'll compare them a little bit to the cross stitch version. So this one is the one called Adorable Nature. As usual, she does always put kind of a, I don't want to say funny, but uh, a, a wording that pertains to that particular picture. If you're unfamiliar with their books, we do have a picture here that shows what this picture is going to look like. Then in this version, in the mosaic version, we have a color key here that is color by number. Okay, only list the colors that are needed on the, sorry, not back cover. I think it's maybe inside the front. I can't remember. No, it is back here. We do have the color palette. You can test the colors over here to try to match them up. There are 24 colors, plus sometimes you will have some that are left blank, so they are white. Okay, so this is, again, what they look like in the mosaic version. And this one, which I have this picture done, is what it looks like in cross stitch version and originally when she first started coming out or they uh, first started coming out with the mosaic I initially still liked the cross stitch method better now that I've been coloring both of them I love the mosaic also <laughs> so I actually do not have a preference over the other this is definitely easier because this version you got to have kind of good eyesight. Um, there are white X's and then there's symbols inside each one of these white X's. That is quite small, um, especially when you're trying to find them over here. I don't really have a problem with them. Um, they are kind of hard to pick out on the picture. Um, and that's why it's so nice to have the completed picture over here. Uh, to give you an idea, okay, I did these yellows. Uh, are those yellows anywhere else? Oh yeah, they're over here. And so you kind of look around somewhere over here for the same symbol. So having the completed picture over here really is helpful in the cross stitch version. So here is Benny the Bun Bun. So here's what it looks like unfinished in the cross stitch version. And here is the mosaic version. You'll notice because this is cross stitch, we do have a hoop around here to resemble cross stitch. The mosaic version does not because it's not a cross stitch. <laughs> but look at this cute bunny. Yeah, I got a color in this one more. Cherries on top. These books are on this awesome premium paper. Works so good for markers. Oh, these beautiful flowers. Now, if you're like me, you color with alcohol markers, you're gonna wanna start from the back of the book. Um, the color by number version isn't quite as important the cross stitch one because of those tiny little symbols inside the white X's you are definitely going to want to start from the back of the book and work your way forward so that when the alcohol 
ink goes through, it's not going to cover this up. Again, this one isn't quite as important because you probably can make this out yet. However, the symbols inside of here, unless you have each color memorized, because the symbols will be the same throughout all the books. So light purple is always going to be this symbol. Um, so unless you have them all memorized, which I've colored in these an awful lot, and I do have some of them memorized, but <laughs> not definitely not all of them. So let's keep going. Gala named Guinea Ginny. Humming along. Oh, I definitely got to get this book out and color in it some more. Pining for the tropics. And <laughs> Toodle the Turtle. So now that I have the mosaic version, and they always send me both versions of their new books that come out. So I always like to color a couple pictures out of each version before I do the flip through for you guys. Just so, again, you can see a completed picture or two Um in each version may help, uh, you know, make up your mind uh, each version, uh, which version I should say you would like to get, or you know, if the if the book in particular appeals to you. But yeah, this this is a cute one. I'm so glad that they came out with the Halloween and Christmas one in the mosaic version because oh those are really fun here again is our color palette then they list all of the books they have out they do have a lot of the cross stitch books because that is the original line but they are really growing the mosaic line and look what's coming up for the mosaic book. So they're slowly converting all of the cross stitch books. So I shouldn't say converting. Um, they are adding the mosaic versions to the cross stitch. So coming up, we have the frosted cookies and cakes, the kawaii cuties, geometrical joys. I love that one. That's another book I have finished in the cross stitch version. Fantastic Flowers, that might be another one. I have a number of these books done. <laughs> City Dreams and Fantastic Folk Art. Here they do have an embroidery style coloring book. I tried that. I didn't care for it. So I uh, returned that one. And then, no, I was going to say we have a blank sheet in the back, but we don't. So again, that one's Adorable Nature. Then we have Halloween Spooks. So again, this is the mosaic version and the cross stitch version. As usual, we do have the color palette in the back. We do have some images from inside the book. Yuck. <laughs> so let's go ahead, look at the first picture. Here we have our adorable devil. So again, mosaic version. What? Oh, okay. I, I didn't do... Oh, yeah. I always do this in reverse order. So, we have our spellbound picture with the cute kitty and the cauldron. So, here we go. So again, how it will look like in the mosaic versus the cross stitch. And again, they're, they're both adorable. This whole book is just so cute. So that is spellbound. All that counts. We have Count Jocula. Spider's pattern. So I did do the spider. Mummy risen. Zombie brains, sparkling ghost, and that's where that's where I ended. So again, same pictures, just different style. You're going to notice that all of these books 
kind of go in the same shape. You're going to have one that is larger and oval. You're going to have one that is round. And then you will have one that is the whole entire page. And they keep going in this order. Okay, so we have all these Halloween pictures. Isn't that cute? Evening fright. All right, and then the other holiday one is Christmas Delights. I absolutely love this book. Again, color palette in the back. Also showing all the books and what's coming up. So let's go through and look at these because they're so cute. Heavenly Snowflake. I'll go through it a little fast and then I'll show you some of the completed ones. Flower Powered Sweet Wreath. Love that one. Love them all. This, like I said, this was just so fun. Smitten by a mitten. <laughs> Santa stocking. Festive fur. Peace, joy, love. And considering these are smaller pictures and they are quite pixelated because these are rather large, they still come out so that you can even read the wording, which I like. This is from the front cover. Look at that cute gingerbread man. <laughs> Puppy in paradise. <laughs> There's another stocking. That's another one I loved to do. Just a few colors in that one. Here we have some Christmas lights. An angel. Ice skates. It's time for cookies, cocoa, and movies. Toys and treats. Another stocking. These stockings were just so much fun to do. I think they were my favorite out of the whole book. So we'll look at a few in the cross stitch version. So this is what they look like in this book. Like I said, for some reason, <laughs> the stockings were my favorite. So you can see as you do them, the alcohol marker does go through, of course, and yeah, then it's really hard, if not impossible, depending on how dark the color is, to actually read the symbols, so yeah, that's why it really makes sense to start from the back of the book, so you don't run into that problem. See, even the wording, like in this here book, or picture, you can actually made out, make out the letters. And the words, so that's awesome. All right, so there's the one from the front cover. Isn't that cool? All right, so again, we have the mosaic versions of these three books out now with more coming. I know I've had uh, comments from you guys too stating you like the mosaic versions. You did not get the cross stitch versions because they just seemed too hard. Um, if you have a visual impairment um, or even regular uh, vision, sometimes these are kind of hard to see. I'm used to them now. When I got my very first book, I too, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm more used to them. But yeah, a lot of you like the mosaic versions better. So I will leave links down below in the description to the three uh, books in both the mosaic and the cross stitch uh, version. So there will be six links down below in the description. So I want to thank Alice Mills Publishing so much for sending me these three books. I really do appreciate it so I can show you guys what uh, their newest books are. So if you like the flip through, 
please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. Thank you.